All right, greetings Earthlings, HB Rooster here. Wanted to talk to you today about opinions, negative opinions of others uh, bothering you. Maybe you're like me when I was in my youth focused on what other people think about you, what you can do to help other people so that they will have a positive opinion about you. Um, what do your friends think of you? What's their opinion? Who's talking about you behind your back? Um, spending a lot of time being focused on the opinions of others um, in regards to yourself. So, something I struggled with a lot as a youth. I think a lot of people did. Um, so, I am going to give you my advice uh, maybe tell you what I've learned um, living on this planet for over 40 years uh, certainly more than half of my life um, and I certainly did worry a lot about what other people thought of me and what I could do to make other people think better of me or to show them uh, the kind of person that I am. But in all honesty, <clears throat> I'll tell you now, uh, at my age, looking back and looking towards the future, I can tell you that other people's opinions, whether it's a close loved one, um, or an acquaintance, or anyone in between, really, other people's opinions of you, honestly, are none of your fucking business at all. Anyone's opinion about me is honestly, when push comes to shove, none of my business. Right? Opinions are just that. They're opinions. So, what's truly important is your opinion of yourself. If you know, for example, that you are an intelligent person, you have... Um, a decent level of intelligence um, and other people's opinion of you may be that you are ignorant because of something you said or did um, that doesn't matter when you get to a certain age you need to realize that the only opinion uh, that matters is your own all other opinions about you I like I said are none of your business and in fact if you're gonna take everyone else's opinion and worry about it then do not bother in this life to have an opinion of your own. Just don't even bother to have your own opinion. Just blindly follow what everyone else says. At 40 years old, I have figured out who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. I know what I am and what I'm not. And um, other people's opinions are irrelevant. I, I have no interest in even knowing uh, what the opinions of other people are. Right. So if you're in the boat that I was in, um, likely your situation is something like this. Um, you're probably a little younger um, or not, but you probably are really just don't know who you are. So you may need to start developing your own opinions of yourself. Um, that's going to be the first step to not worrying so much about what other people's opinions are. You need to decide who you are inside. And furthermore, at 40 years old, I have this thing now that I basically accept all labels uh, without judgment. So call me what you want. Think of me as what you will. I totally agree and accept it. I accept all labels without judgment. All right. So take some time. Learn to love yourself. Learn to accept your your weaknesses and develop your own strong opinions about who you are uh, and what's important to you. And let all other opinions in one ear and write out the fucking other one. And furthermore, if you're bothered by something somebody says, somebody says something to you and it trips your, your nerve or, you know, triggers you or cuts deep first of all I wouldn't validate them with the knowledge that you hurt that bad but secondly you need to look at why okay we all are hurt by words 
and likely um, it's deeper than just the fact that they said that it didn't hurt your feelings. You know, it's likely um, something you need to work on within you. Essentially, if you have a problem with what someone says, somebody hurts your little feelings, uh, it is your problem. So you, you need to look into why. What, what about that that they said hurt my feelings? Furthermore, also, when you are working to, to make your opinions about yourself, okay, and <clears throat> you're not too sure, you know, it's hard, really. It's really hard to know yourself. Um, but begin to question yourself. Like, what's, what's important to me? What, what are my values, you know? And we can start aligning ourselves back to our opinion of ourselves, to our model of who we are, you know, and what we um, what we want to be, okay? Um, like, say, compassion is important to you, you know? I've, that's been an important goal in my older life is to, to develop some compassion for other people, okay? So, what I can do now that I've found that that's important to me, a value to me of compassion is very important. Okay, I want to learn to be compassionate. Um, and at that point, I can start questioning everything I'm doing throughout the day. You know, is this the compassion that I want to show? Am I being the me? Am I the rooster today that I want to be? Okay. Um, and you're doing everything essentially to, to really come into your own and to form a true identity and to know yourself okay when you know yourself and you know where you are and who you are and what you stand for and what you're going to put up with and what you're not going to fucking tolerate you get a very strong sense of self and that is what is key to stop the worry about what other people think okay you know like i said you're never going to make everyone happy there's always going to be people that don't like you. You're not for everyone. Nobody is for everyone. I'm sure you've met somebody uh, that you probably didn't even know very well, and within a few minutes were thinking, um, nah, I don't care for this person, or this person is sending me a weird signal, or doesn't jive with, with me, or I don't like being around them. It's nothing personal that that person has done. It's, it's your opinion of them. So other people are going to have that opinion of you. There's going to be people that don't like you immediately. There's going to be people that are cruel and mean and judgmental. There's lots of people that are unhappy with their life or in a situation um, where they're unhappy and they love nothing more than to spread the fucking misery around. Um, and this is where having boundaries and knowing yourself and having strong opinions about who you are uh, is crucial to your mental well-being, to you as a, as a human. Um, so these are major, that's a major step that you can take in the way of um, lessening the impact of other people's opinions. You know, and of course, the closer the person is to you and the more you care about them, um, the more you could consider their opinion and, and maybe think if there's something that you would like to change or maybe you're not quite where you want it to be. But all in all, and I'll say it again, if you're going to care about other people's opinions completely, then don't have your own. Just don't. You, d you don't deserve to have your own opinion of yourself if you're the kind of person that wants to just, you know, immediately take everyone else's opinion in as, as fact when they're they're not facts in fact very few people probably know you um fully you know and we're all wearing masks in a sense when we're around people um you know you're the only uh consciousness that really understands everything about you you, uh, you are you know the only one that is allowed all the way in so why would you let anyone else uh, dictate who you are or what you're going to do uh, you know and the more we take on these other people's opinions and do things to p people please or try to make others happy the more of yourself gets lost it's like you're shrinking and shrinking and becoming everything they say you are until you're nothing left of your own and you, you're totally lost and have no idea of who you are as a person at all 
and that's a lowly place to be because the bottom line is there's always going to be people that don't like you there's always going to be people who have negative intentions for you or evil will towards you or jealousy or or just you know opinions that are completely untrue and completely again none of your business so overcoming negative opinions is not as hard as you might think uh, but you got to start with knowing who you are and if you're living your life not in accordance to who you are and to your own values or you don't even know who you are that is the start okay that's the start you figure out who you are what's important to you what are your morals okay not your parents not your friends or your family or anyone else what's important to you who are you these are things you need to decide and if your life is out of alignment with with your your own personal morals and who you are and who you know yourself to be inside it's a simple matter of slowly making decisions and choices and pointing yourself back into alignment with who you are okay and I promise you you can become absolutely bulletproof um, to other people's thoughts and opinions uh, when you're absolutely sure in who you are and you're living your life in accordance to your own beliefs and morals and what's important to you uh, you will become untouchable so there you go now you've heard my full opinion about opinions so <laughs> Uh, again, I hope this video did uh, find you doing well. Um, everybody take care and stay safe.